I'd been working six months when Mr. Hunt started asking me to work more, order dinner. One night, late, he tried to have sex with me. The next day, I requested a change in assignment. Two months later, I was fired for having a bad attitude. This is ridiculous. Wipe that smirk off your face. You're not even supposed to be here. Mr. Hunt has every right to be here. Now, Ms. Webster, after working for Devlin McGregor, you then went on to waitress at Hooters, right? Yes, I did. Place that advertises the sexuality of his waitstaff, correct? You'll have to ask them that. I'm asking you. And she's not answering. Move on. Ms. Webster, would you say that you're a truthful person? Yes. Yeah. So when you said earlier that you had never been arrested for a crime, you were, uh, you were speaking the truth. Yes. Yes. So in 1993, then, you were not arrested for stealing $1,000 worth of jewelry from the Willow Grove Mall in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> I was 17. That, that was one mistake. Those records were supposed to be sealed. Oh, so when you say those records were sealed, what you mean to say is you, you thought you could get away with a lie. No, that's not it. You're making it seem different than it is. I'm sorry. You, you were arrested in your past and you lied about it here under oath. Is that making it seem different than what it is? No answer. Mm. All right. Um, let me ask you this. Since you've lied here once, what's to make us believe you're not lying about Mr. Hunt? that arrest. No. I did every background check we have. Did he grill her like I told you to? It was a sealed record, Harvey. Damn it, I knew it. Fix it. <laughs> Joanna, wait, please. This is why I didn't want to testify. They twist something from 100 years ago and make me look like a liar. They make it sound like what he did to me didn't happen. Look, it doesn't matter, all right? I just, I, I need you to testify on Friday and keep this case alive. We don't have time to find anyone else before. Would you please wait? No, I'm not waiting. You promised this wouldn't happen, and it did. You never told me you were arrested. Don't contact me again, please. What happened with the witness? Nothing. Nothing happened. I couldn't fix it. So you're gonna quit? <laughs> it's either that or have Lewis Litt fire me. What are you talking about? My first day, Lewis fired Gary Lipsky for screwing up a case. He said if I did the same thing, I'd be gone just as fast. Well, you go back to the witness's house and you get her to testify again. I tried. There's no way. There's always a way. Then why don't you go and convince her? Because you screwed it up. Oh, and you don't give a damn about the client, right? It's not my job. Does your job include giving a damn about me? Because the least you could do is offer to stand up to Lewis for me. Stand up for you? I put my ass on the line for you. But it turns out you may have had the balls to get this job, but you don't have the courage to stick it out when it gets tough. That's not true. Isn't it? Yes. You've had one foot out the door since you got here. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that briefcase being locked in your desk. Yeah, I saw it, and I know what it is. It's your backup plan in case this doesn't work out. You can make some quick cash and go right back to the life you told me you didn't want to lead. So if you want to quit, go ahead. But this isn't because of Lewis, and it isn't because of me. It's because you're afraid you might have to admit that you're not as smart as you think you are. If you're here in the morning, I'll know I still have an associate. 